If you haven't heard already, Lightroom has just released its new version of Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC, and also Adobe Camera Raw. So we've got a brand new set of Lightroom tools, and one of those tools in the new release is the idea of profiles. Now I recognize that you know profiles from the very bottom of the Lightroom develop module over on the right hand side. There used to be an area here where you would toggle on a given profile and that profile was meant to try and match your camera so that if you wanted to uh, use the portrait mode in your camera then Adobe had a profile that was called portrait that would kind of simulate what uh, your camera was seeing. Now that is still a possibility and they have really worked hard to make those profiles even better uh, more accurate to what your camera actually is seeing and much more beautiful. Um, but notice that they're not here anymore. That's because they're up at the very top in the basic area. And up there in the basic area, you'll see that there's an area that says profile and a drop down menu for all of the different profiles you can use. But also, they have a browser, and this browser is beautiful. I click on this little square grid. And when I do that, I see the profiles and I also see an uh, indication of what the images are going to look like if I go and click on one of those profile buttons. Um, but notice these are now stylistic profiles as well. You can look at the ones that Adobe has made for you. So if I click on Adobe Camera Raw, you can see the landscape version. You can see uh, what a portrait what neutral looks like, and they're all very beautiful. They've been completely redesigned, so I think you should go and take a look at them regardless of whether or not you add profiles. Uh, you should definitely look at the profiles that Adobe has updated, but they're also the ability to share, to create, and to buy and download profiles from anyone. And that's what I want to talk to you about is how to install new profiles into Adobe Lightroom, into ACR, and also into Lightroom CC, uh, the newer version of Lightroom that's out. Uh, you can use profiles in all three of these and I'm going to show you how to install them. I have some for sale on my website at jaredplatt.com. Uh, it's a new collection called the Artist Profile Collection. So go check that out. There's also some free ones that you can download as a sample. Uh, but let me show you how to install those profiles. So if you are going to install them, you have to install them in a different place. They don't go into the same place that you would put, say, uh, your presets because presets and profiles are very different things. So let me show you the difference between a preset and a profile. A preset, when you click on the preset, it changes the settings here inside of the slider. So I want you to notice that I haven't done a whole lot here in the basic area to this image when it comes to these sliders. There's just a little exposure change, some clarity, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else has really changed in this image. It's just shot the way it was and it's ready to go. But if I wanna add a preset to it and I go over to the left-hand side and I click on a preset, these sliders will change based on the preset that I use. However, in a profile, when I click on a profile, the profile does not change any of the sliders at all. It is a completely underlying effect that's inside of the file itself and there's no change to your sliders whatsoever, which means that you now have the ability to toggle a profile and a preset, which are kind of like two different types of presets, and neither of them will affect the other when it comes to the sliders and things like that. They won't negate each other. They'll actually be on top of each other. So I'm going to hover over a profile until I find the one I want. I like this uh, muted color one here. So I'm gonna click on that, and then when I go back into the sliders, you will see that nothing has changed. And that's true everywhere. The tone curves haven't changed, the split tones haven't, nothing has changed inside of my image um, in the slider areas in the develop module, just the underlying image itself. And then I can go in and play with the sliders, I can add presets to it, uh, I can do anything I want to this file, but the profile is underlying the image. So that's a fantastic new change. The other thing that you'll notice 
is that right over next to the profile area, there's an amount slider. Now, a lot of you have been asking for presets to have kind of a, a changing slider that would help you to increase or decrease that uh, effect. Well, here it is. So profiles have the ability to increase or decrease the effect. So I can slide it to the left and I'm back to the normal version of that file. If I slide it to the right, then I increase that effect and I can go all the way to 200% of whatever I've added. So I'm going to just kind of find the right mix that I like on this particular image. And once I have it, I'm done. Let me show you how to install these now. The first thing you have to do is get some. So you're going to get your profiles either from a friend, you're gonna create your own, or you're going to download mine. And if you download mine, they'll come in a zip folder called JP Artist Profile Collection. And if you're downloading the free ones, it will then say it's a sample collection. Double click that zip file and it will create a folder full of XMP files that look just like this. You can see all those XMP files and those XMP files are what are going to become your profiles. But we have to put them in the right place. So the easiest way to find this is to go back into Lightroom and go into the Lightroom Preferences area and then go to the Preset area. And in Preset, you'll find right in the middle, there's a button called Show Lightroom Preset Folder. If I click on that, you will find a Lightroom Preset Folder comes up. Let me hide this so that I can, there we go, so that it's less confusing. Okay. So inside of that Lightroom preset folder, you're going to see all of the different presets. Like you're, you might be used to the develop presets and you might be used to export presets and you might be used to local adjustment presets. So that's where all of the Lightroom presets rest, but this is not where your profiles go. Your profiles actually go in a folder uh, called Camera Raw, which is right above that Lightroom folder that it just opened for you. So it's not inside of the Lightroom folder, it's above it in the Camera Raw folder, and then there's a folder called Settings. And if you click on the Settings folder, all you have to do now is take this entire folder full of artist profile collections and just drag it into this folder here and let go. So you're going to grab this folder and you're just gonna drag it into that Settings folder and let go. Let it copy it in and now restart Lightroom and you will find your profiles are already installed. And not only will they be installed inside of Lightroom, but also you will find them inside of Adobe Camera Raw. And you'll find them in Adobe Camera Raw in the basic area over on the right hand side at the very top of that basic area, there is a browser for profiles and if you click on it, you will find there are your profiles as well. So you have all of your profiles, not only in Camera Raw, but also in Lightroom. Now, Lightroom Classic treats them differently than Lightroom CC. If you happen to be a Lightroom CC user, which is a much different program, it's the it's Adobe's simplified version of Lightroom. If you are using Lightroom CC 2018, which is the simplified version, um, you have an actual easier way to install your profiles. Um, you'll notice that those profiles are right up at the very top. If I click on the slider button over on the right hand side, uh, all of my adjustment options come up. Uh, and right above every one of those adjustments and right below the histogram, you will find a profile browser. And notice that I don't have my profiles installed yet. So all I need to do is click on the little double, the triple dots right next to the right hand side of the profile. And when I do that, I have an option to import profiles. I'm gonna click on import profiles and now I'm gonna to go to my desktop and I'm gonna choose that zip file. And the cool thing is, is that Lightroom CC will actually import those zipped collections of profiles. As long as they're all profiles, it will bring them in. So I'm just gonna highlight the zip folder and click on import. And Lightroom CC does the rest. And you'll notice now at the very bottom, you see BW Art Pro by Jared Platt and Color Art Pro by Jared Platt. If you 
open up those folders, you can see all of these great new profiles that help to create a certain look on your images. And again, remember that these profiles are underlying the image, which means that your presets will be additive to them. So this is a really great day for everybody using Lightroom, Lightroom CC, Lightroom Classic, or uh, Adobe Camera Raw, because now we have an updated profile browser that allows us to make artistic profiles uh, to enhance our images at one click. It's really fantastic. Go check it out. And if you'd like to check out my profiles, go to jaredplatt.com forward slash shop and you will find 30 amazing profiles ready for you to go, both black and white and color. And you'll also find a free set of four samples that you can download and start playing with right now. So if you'd like to practice importing these profiles, simply go to jaredplatt.com forward slash shop. You can download free or you can pay for the full set and you can start to practice importing your own profiles and start using them. It's a fantastic new system. Great job, Adobe. Super excited about this one.